people with environmental issues. Bayview Hunters Point is a Superfund site. Superfund sites are the worst hazardous waste sites in the United States. I have worked on Superfund sites before the Superfund legislation was introduced into Congress in 1980. It was introduced into Congress as a result of Love Canal. I worked at Love Canal on behalf of the communities trying to find out what contamination were there, what were the pathways of exposure, and what was causing their illnesses. Reviewing the issues here at Bayview Hunters Point, I want to start at the end and then back up. The remedy that is being proposed for Bayview Hunters Point will leave contamination on the site. Will leave contamination on most of the site. It will require a cover or a cap. And frequently when I talk to community groups, when I talk about a cover or a cap, it's like putting a layer of play dust over the layer. And in addition, there will be a requirement for institutional controls which will tell you where you can and cannot dig, where you can and cannot plant a garden, and where that cap has to be left untouched. And I can tell you horror stories about communities that allowed a cap to be placed and came in one day and there was a contractor out there digging through the cap and into the waste. So bear in mind when we talk about the final remedy is waste will remain on site and will be managed by a cap and our institutional controls. So when you look at the environmental impact report, the EIR that everyone's talking about, what happens is you observe that there is lots of money already been spent on, quote, the cleanup or the remediation on Hunter's Point. However, there's a lot of work left to do. There's a lot of contamination still on the site. And matter of fact, the things that are called a record of decision, which says this is how we're going to clean it up. But two of the sites have just been instituted and the rest are still being developed. So there's lots of work left to decide on based on sampling what needs to be done, how we move forward to address the issues. But the EIR allows for parcels to be transferred in what's called early transfer so that it's not under the Navy's jurisdiction and the Navy's control with EPA's oversight, but it will be handed off to the City Redevelopment Agency, who in turn can hand it off to someone else, such as Lenore. What will happen is it will allow redevelopment to go on at the same time as cleanup or remedy. So you have a small piece that's still undergoing cleanup, excavation of the waste, crawling it off, still trying to find where all the waste is and how deep it is. And at the same time, you have companies like construction companies in there building the redevelopment. So at the same time, you have people in the construction companies being exposed to the waste while the cleanup crews are in there doing their job. And the communities around it will also be exposed. So it's inappropriate to allow exposure to occur to community groups or contractors for redevelopment until the site is quote clean and everybody agrees that the cleanness is at a level which everyone can agree to. Louisiana, this is day 84 on the BP oil spill. As I said, Love Canal was before 1980 and resulted in Superfund regulation. Hurricanes Katrina and Rita devastated the Gulf Coast in 2005. I have been involved in all of those and many more issues, bringing the issues, technical issues, to the politicians and to the community. And the politicians and the regulatory agencies usually say, no, you're wrong, that's not going to happen. And a couple years later, it happens. So what we're trying to avoid happening here is another Love Canal, another Katrina, another BP. We do not want the citizens of San Francisco and particularly the citizens of Bayview Hunters Point exposed to contamination and we want these sites cleaned up and then the community involved in what kind of redevelopment will take place after the cleanup. But we do not want to damage any more community members. Thank you.